As discussed in the Directions for Use videos, the key to successful use of combat gauze is to pack the gauze into the wound deeply so that it comes into contact with the source of bleeding. You must also pack enough gauze into the wound to completely fill any open space. A large wound might require you to use more than one combat gauze. Don't forget to check for an exit wound or additional wounds. Any excess gauze should be used to apply pressure over the wound for at least three minutes. After at least three minutes of pressure, ensuring bleeding has stopped, apply a pressure dressing over the combat gauze to maintain pressure and to protect the wound from further contamination. In rare instances, active bleeding may continue even after your initial application of combat gauze. The probable cause of this is failure to place the hemostatic agent into contact with the source of bleeding. In the event that prior attempts at stopping bleeding were ineffective due to improper product placement or other factors beyond the caregiver's control, any combat gauze or standard gauze in the wound should be removed. Excess pooled blood should be swept away. The point of bleeding should be visualized if possible, and a fresh combat gauze should be packed into the wound consistent with the product instructions. Remember that once the new combat gauze is packed into the wound, you must still apply at least three minutes of pressure before proceeding with the application of a pressure dressing.